Hey, uh, so today we're gonna play some Factorio. It's a fun, like, uh, factory game. Uh, it's pretty mindless, except for, uh, bugs and stuff attacking. Uh, but it's, well, mindless is in, like, uh, not like, it's not like a puzzle game or anything. But, if you want to be hyper-efficient and stuff, which I'm usually not, but I know a lot of people prefer that then uh, it can take a lot of, you know, it's a bit less mindless there. Uh, but i not fantastic at planning too far ahead, so not my play style exactly. But we'll give it a shot. And uh, I've played like a bit of this and stuff with friends uh, beforehand and stuff. It's, it's fun. Yeah, so we start off Crash Ship pretty like typical for like survival games and stuff and we start with a bit of resources to start our mining operation okay resources on the map all right so the big one the big ones are iron coal and copper uh because those are the ones that are mainly used for like all the crafting and stuff uh and then there's also like stone and later on oil and stuff uh, but that's not as uh, useful at the moment. Did I not put it in my inventory? Like an idiot. Yep. I am dumb. Oops. Yeah, so these have, like, uh, the parts of the ship will have some plates and stuff for crafting. Yeah, I thought this would be a fun game to like stream because it's pretty chill, uh, it's, like fairly relaxing at least for me, and so I figured people might enjoy that and stuff. Let's see, where's the best place to put it? Uh, probably close to because we have to get the coal to power it. Uh, so close to where we got this coal coming out uh, is probably ideal. It's like there, maybe. And then... Inserter. Yeah, so the th the thing with starting off in this game, which makes it a bit rough, is you don't have, like, electricity. So for all the drills and everything, uh, we have to power that uh, manually at the moment, uh, which is a bit rough. Yeah, so, like, it's a bit slow to start off uh, once you're getting everything set up and that kind of thing, in my experience. But once uh, that's the case, it's generally pretty good. What is space a destination? Why isn't this... Well, maybe if I put something in there to start it off. Yeah, so the whole point of this game is we eventually uh, build a rocket uh, at the end. 
if you played like Satisfactory and stuff, it's pretty similar to that. Uh, in terms of like well, factory building and stuff, and you get resources. The big difference is that uh, iron and stuff here is not li uh, unlimited. Uh, so theoretically, we can run out. It's pretty difficult to run out, uh, but it does give it can give that paranoia stuff at least for me of like oh no I'm, I gotta be extra careful and always be worried about running out Oh, hi, uh, Deja Bodega and Mania, Mania. Yeah. Uh, just, yeah, it's a, it's, I'd say it's similar, uh, kind of similar to Satisfactory. Uh, the flow of the layered game is a bit weird, uh, because Satisfactory is not, like, as, uh, it's, you don't, like, the, you, I don't, I find you don't, uh, have to worry about, uh, like, enemies and stuff in Satisfactory, whereas here you do uh, eventually have to like start worrying about that, which uh, once they start breaking your stuff it becomes a bit of a problem. But you don't have to worry that until a bit later than where we are currently. So it's not that. Uh, hi Charlie. Uh, yeah, worrying about the resources and stuff, particularly iron, is I always get worried about that. Alright, so I need to make some more miners and stuff so that we can at least get this so it's I don't have to keep feeding coal into it. Because, uh, like, once I can partially automate this, it makes it a lot easier. Yeah, Satisfactory is, I'd say, more, like, of a chill one than this, uh, for sure. This is, like, a bit more, uh, intense later on and stuff. I mean, like, this has, like, I mean, there's more weapons and stuff, even though it's not, like, a big part of either of the games, I'd say, that it, but it's definitely more of, like, uh, saying in this one, whereas, like, just in satisfactory, like you can have some aliens and stuff, but it's generally not a big deal. I've I've played both of them. I think I probably prefer this, to be honest, but both of them are pretty good. Uh I found like it got confusing moving around satisfactory and stuff with uh like going to the different location stuff. I felt like a bit too overwhelming with how big it is and everything uh and keeping track of all the stuff because of that whereas here it feels like a bit smaller i guess all right what do we need to craft the next well, i need to go get some stone Oh. Yeah. So this is kind of like the boring part of the game is like this first bit of setup and stuff. And then like once like we have like material the basic crafting materials automated then you uh can then you start to get like you're able to like actually do stuff a bit more and like start building like bigger. Yeah, the the truck and stuff is super helpful. I think I think the train as well. I know Satisfactory has trains, uh, just like this game. Uh, but I, I never I didn't make it to that uh, point in Satisfactory, uh, so I I can't like talk too much about the trains there. I know the trains here are really fun. 
except if you hit yourself with them, which is possible, uh, and I ha maybe might have happened. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> it, it, I've hit myself with trains more than I care to admit in this game. A, a lot more. Yeah, I think Satisfactory is a better, like, casual experience. And I'm definitely interested in streaming it uh, at one point as well, because I think that would be fun. Uh, I'm just trying to rearrange some stuff. Because uh, I want to get the, the stuff set up so that it's automated, finally. Yeah, that's this is the, like the nice thing with Satisfactory is I feel like it's a lot easier to like the start is a lot nicer than this game, and because you don't have to ha be running like a lot of like manual like or like super messy stuff like I am now of trying to power everything, uh, or, like so it's a lot like easier to get set up and everything than this. Okay. I am. Alright. I need to. Yeah, like keeping everything in power is a lot easier and satisfactory. I mean, this this gets a lot nicer once uh, we get the electricity, like I said, because then I don't need to be ha running like coal into literally everything just to make sure it's all powered. Uh, but until then, it's kind of a pain. I have, I've, like, I've, I've played a bit of this, like, I mentioned stuff with friends and stuff, so hopefully I'll be able to, like, get to electricity fairly quickly and get out of this Stone Age part of the game. Because I forgot quite how slow it can be when deciding to stream it. Uh, I've played a bit of co-op for this and stuff. Like with it's it's not bad. I mean, it's pretty. It's not that much different than like uh like it's not that much different than playing it normally. Like, I wouldn't say there's any, like, major changes in co-op. It just makes it a bit easier, especially for, uh, like, this part stage of the game. Because you don't have to, um, like, they can have two people working on setting things up and that kind of thing. And it also makes it a lot easier uh, later on with the aliens and stuff. Because having two people to help deal with it uh, makes it a lot nicer.
Uh, we don't have enough iron. That's not good. Yeah. I found the co-op for this, I think, found was a lot nicer than the co-op for Satisfactory. Uh, but I think, like, Satisfactory is, more, like, as a more casual game is a lot uh, better, like, for single player and stuff. We're almost set up, kinda. That's good. Yeah. I mean, I think a big part of, like, my opinion of both of the games is that I... Uh, for this, the reason I find, like... It the single player are, uh, like not as f quite as fun as the multiplayer for uh, Factorio is it's like a lot slower like I mentioned uh, and for like games like this I can be a bit impatient and stuff uh, whereas with Satisfactory I feel like it's a lot uh, faster uh, but I feel like there's less to do in co-op uh, satisfactory, whereas it, there's at least, like, you're not doing different things in co-op factorial, but, like, you can do more at a time, and it's not like you're, you're never really running out of things, because there's the, um, the aliens, like, that are currently up here on the map, uh, that'll eventually, once we're polluting enough, they'll come at us. I need to collect some more stone because we need a bit more iron and coal production, I think. Because uh, we also have to go, we need to set up copper uh, production and eventually stone as well. Because we're going to need a lot more stone later. But for now, the big thing is we need to get copper so we can get electricity and stuff. And then I, that really helps with uh, making things look a lot nicer and not as like messy. That's probably, yeah. Three furnaces is probably good. Yeah, a lot of this stream is just going to be, like, set up kind of thing at the moment. And then I want to, you know, stream more of this, like, in the future. And that would probably be uh, a bit more exciting, interesting gameplay than uh, what you're currently going to be seeing. Because once you get, like, the assault rifles up in the car and you can actually like go and start to deal with the uh, aliens and stuff and they start to come at you then it gets a lot more interesting than where it is now where it's basically me just fiddling around trying to make sure I'm producing a bunch of stuff okay what else do we need more iron production looks like
Yeah. Uh, well, I, I really, I, I, I can be a bit of a, like, not perfectionist when it comes, but, like, I uh, really like making sure it looks, like, decent for these kind of games. So having to, like, uh, mess with all the cool and stuff to make it look, like, half, not half, awful. Like, like this here, you know, just, it makes me just, uh, wince inside. I don't know about you guys, but. Oh, gonna have to go all the way around. I also want to take the opportunity uh, to apologize about the Hades stream. Uh, like I mentioned, I was having some technical difficulties and stuff, and also wasn't feeling 100%. So I didn't want to uh, like stream suboptimally and stuff. Uh, plus, with the technical difficulties, it was already going to be like delayed and everything. But I'm feeling a lot better now, uh, and no technical technical difficulties at the moment. I don't think. Uh, so, yeah, never got to the point where we were worried about factories aesthetics. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, I, I, I know a lot of people don't really care about it. Uh, but, like, it's kind of... For me, like, I'd want to make it... I like symmetrical things a lot. And so when you have to, like, have, like, messes and this kind of thing. I know it's, like, it's just not feasible to make it symmetrical even in this. But, like, just having the mess, it's just... It really... I don't know. It just feels weird. But I know a lot of people don't. And, uh... For, like... Because uh, for, uh, for other things, I don't really care about mess. Uh... Like, um... I think a good example is, like, uh, storage and stuff in, like, games, uh, like, Subnautica, Minecraft, that kind of thing. Like, I really, uh, I don't, like, have, like, listed storage or anything. Like, I'm pretty, uh, I, yeah, I don't take that as, like, that doesn't bother me as much. Uh, or at least not to the point that I end up fixing it, uh, but for, like, this kind of game, like, I don't know, just, I want to be at least, like, if not, like, super efficient, just efficient enough where, like, it's not tough, and I want it to look, like, decent when it's doing that. Because I find, like, with this, it gets, it can very easily get to the point where you don't know where things are coming from and going to, uh, in, like, the middle game to the late game, and then when you're trying to, like, improve uh, your factory, that makes it a lot harder, because you don't know, like, uh, which goes to, like, what essential part and everything. Alright. Uh, I'd like to go back, it feels like it is a bunch of waiting. Yeah, that is the one, like, kind of gripe I have with uh, Factorio is it can be really slow. Like, uh, like the, it's, a lot of it is research just waiting to finish, like you said. Uh, that's why I found it was a lot nicer with another person, because then you could just, like, hang out with them and kind of do stuff uh, with them, while, and it doesn't feel like you're, like, waiting as long. But even then, when I was doing it with them, it, it does feel like it just takes play forever uh, with that so I, I totally get that it, yeah that's definitely a complaint I would have with the game uh... 
let's go down one so I can have it go into here. Because I want it to go on the other side. Because the nice thing about this, which I don't think, uh, I can't remember if Satisfactory has, uh, but Factory does, is that the conveyor belts, like, they have two halves. Uh, so you can, like, a lot of the stuff's going to come out on one side of the conveyor belt here. Uh, but you can put it on the other with, like, uh, if you, like, reroute it and, like, uh, use um, inserters and stuff properly. But it, it, that can be a bit of a nuisance, but I, I, it's that kind of stuff that I try to accomplish from making uh, my factory look decent. And that's always the hardest, just like balancing that. Okay, well, it's mostly getting coal and everything set up, which is good. And then I need to go and get some more stone so that I can set up for the copper, because that's a big resource we need. And unfortunately, that's not that close either. But yeah, uh, I would recommend like people to go back at some point, like if you if you enjoyed Satisfactory a lot, to like and you gave Factory a try and didn't end up finishing it or something, to go back and like give it a shot, especially if you have someone to do it with, uh, just because that really that really helps a lot with like the kind of boring, uh, waiting periods and stuff. Because, like, it's particularly, it's a, I find it's particularly, the boring waiting periods are particularly at the start, where you don't, because later on in the game, you can kind of have the stuff to go around in the car and just fight aliens and stuff, and, like, uh, just uh, kind of waste time and stuff doing that uh, while you're waiting for research, but, like, early on, you don't really have that opportunity, and so it's really helpful to have someone uh, with you. To make that easier. Okay. Alright, we've got our plate production is getting a lot better now, which is great. Good to see that. Right, and now they're just mass, like a, just a ton of conveyors to go get copper. Well, to bring coal to copper first. Alright, I think I want to like line it up here so that I can get multiple uh, inserters to take it from this line. And then just straight up 
and oh that's also not a lot of, I mean I guess it's the similar amount of copper to we have uh, iron ore but uh, that's I f it's very small which is not great So I guess we're not using that much of like our iron and coal supplies at the moment. So it, I guess it's not like that small. It just looks a bit small from out here. Okay. More transport belts. Yeah. Soon-ish, we're gonna once I get research and stuff and the electricity. I'll be able to like start properly manufacturing uh, the stuff we need, uh, but till then it's uh, the crafting's a bit slow. All right, we're getting there. It's not it's not quick, but we're getting there. It honestly may now that on further consideration, it may just be a better idea for me to just uh like for me to uh, just set up independently and manually fuel it and then get, get electricity and then set up but I feel like point of no return I've kind of already committed to this so too late now so far Once we have copper and iron set up, it should be a lot easier just to make it uh, electricity and stuff. Uh, and then I can start making, like, actually automating, and things will be a heck of a lot easier from there.
down there. Uh, the end game gameplay for this is, it's a, not really like finding new ore veins or something. It is a lot of like, just optimizing, uh, your factory and stuff and like, uh, dealing with the alien hordes and that kind of thing, uh, coming to attack you. Uh, so it's not really, uh, I wish there was more of like the finding new ore veins and stuff. There is like a pretty decent, uh, like modding community from what i've seen i haven't played too much of that but it i know i like i've uh like looked at a few and stuff and it seems pretty good so like there are if you're looking for like different ore veins and stuff then there that's certainly a way like an avenue to look at uh and i imagine uh that there are probably mods to like make the beginning process a bit faster I, I maybe should have looked into that a bit uh i'd kind of forgotten quite how slow and tedious it can be so apologies for that but yeah it's not it's more like uh improving the fact you already have set up and then uh, dealing with the aliens coming to attack. Like, there is a couple of, like, new stuff we'll find, uh, or new stuff we'll at least be able to use, uh, later in the game, uh, in, like, the base game, like, uh, uranium and oil and stuff, uh, that we'll be able to use, uh, and those will appear on the map and stuff, but, uh, until, but, like, other than that, there aren't really stuff in the late game, uh, and those are more, like, mid-game breaker the oil and stuff yeah I don't know what it, I don't know like how that compares to satisfactory uh, per se because uh, I didn't make it that far when I was playing satisfactory unfortunately so I'm not sure if that's like satisfactory is a bit better in that regard or if they're about the same or what have you All right. Well, now copper is copper is set up. Uh, so now we can look to powering things, which is really helpful. But yeah. So if you're looking for like more end game uh, stuff, I'd recommend checking out like the modding and that kind of thing, rather than just the base game. Alright, for so steam engine, boiler, consume steam. Oh, so this boiler makes, so we need two steam engines uh, per one boiler, right? Uh, and then I'm going to need some uh, more stuff to power that, like we need the pumps and everything. And also more transport belts. You always need more conveyor belts in this game. Where's the water? That's not close. That's not great. Oh, I'm, I, I'm going to need to add more coal, aren't I? Well, that's unfortunate.
We'll add some more coal. Uh, th I mean, that's, I guess that's where all the coal is going. I didn't realize it would take up so much of it. I think in hindsight, this might not have been the best kind of game for streaming. Uh, like, as I'm getting more comfortable with uh, more, like, chatting and stuff. But, uh, so, like, in retrospect, I'm, like, I'm, after this stream, I might focus more on, like, some of the other games I'm streaming, like Celeste. Uh, I still want to definitely stream Hades next week and stuff uh, over this, but I, I, I mean, I'll definitely come back to it uh, later. I just think that maybe I kind of overestimated the amount of, like, time film and stuff, I guess, I would need to do and that kind of thing. Because, like, that is kind of a, a weakness I feel like I have. Uh... Let's just put this coal back into circulation. Because I did not mean for it to get so... No, why are you... Re what? Ah, oh, pain. Best way to improve is to face it head on. Yeah, that's fair. That is that's a very good point. Uh, so uh, it, I mean, it could be helpful and stuff. I don't know. I just feel like uh, it's the well, one that may like be the best way for me to improve. It's not like the best experience for everyone of me just like uh, like rambling or being quiet because I can't think of anything or that kind of thing and I, I want like for the people who show up and stuff to have like a decent experience burns all right uh so like even despite it being probably the best way for me to improve i don't know i feel like i would rather find a way that works better for the people watching even if it's not like as strictly beneficial to me. Yeah, I really need to up the coal production, I think. Yeah, background music's a good idea and stuff. I haven't, uh, I've been a bit distracted, uh, with stuff in the past week and be getting sick. Uh, so, like, there's a lot of stuff I've been meaning to do in regards to, uh, this and, like, having a better stream environment and stuff. Uh, and background music is one of them. So, hopefully, uh, n maybe not by next, the uh, to stream tomorrow, but, uh, next week I'll have stuff set up. So, it's a bit better experience. Uh, yeah, that's kind of my goal there. Uh, okay, we finally get electric mining drills, which is very nice. 
That makes life so much easier in this game. And electric inserters. Yeah. Once you get like these and are able to, uh how do I get sick? Oh, it's just like uh like a cold, right? Not like super serious or anything. It was just uh at like an unfortunate time and stuff uh family and stuff had been sick uh as well before like not like last week maybe a week before uh so i think i probably got it from them uh so and, like nothing super serious or anything and i don't want to make it out to be that bad uh but that combined with like uh just being a bit busy uh it made like getting stuff done for this uh a bit more difficult yeah background music would be pretty nifty uh and i do want to uh i'm i had thought i had something uh but i wasn't sure if i could get it working uh and then i'd kind of forgotten about it last week so I'll, uh, i'm gonna revisit that once uh it's either uh tomorrow or sunday Now that we have electric mining drills, I can, uh, I probably want to use them over in the iron, I think, uh, because, well, theoretically, probably in the coal now, or in the copper area, uh, but having them here, uh, it's, because the coal is pretty easy to just automatically fill up, because you can just, like, loop it back in itself, but copper and iron, it gets more annoying. Yeah, the one thing about like electric drills and stuff, which I, I feel like is not a great like design decision, is the size difference from them uh, to the normal stuff. Like I get, I mean, I feel like it makes sense like why they would be bigger and stuff. Uh, but in terms of, it makes it like a lot more difficult uh, when you're uh, changing your like uh, factory and stuff. Because you have to adjust it for that. Why don't I make it loop all around now? I don't need to do that anymore. Like having, like I, I think it's not just for this in general. I think with the furnace later on, it's a sim. There's a similar thing, uh, and like having, having it be. Uh, no, I, don't, I want it to just go out up one so that we can get it so that it's on both sides would be better. Having it so that uh, it's this, it maintains the size, it just makes it a lot more convenient uh, in my eyes. And since we have these spare burner drills that uh, can't be upgraded, uh, let's turn them into more coal. Never enough coal. Until it starts uh, causing pollution. And then that'll be a problem. But till then, it's all good. What is our pollution? Alright, it's not ideal it's, it's certainly gone a lot bigger since i last checked but it's not uh not to the point where it's that close to uh then like nests over there so we still have a better time before they're going to start like attacking and stuff uh all right Next thing is to start making it so that the copper is also uh, electric, so that I don't need to bring as much coal over there. 
But yeah, having everything be electric instead of purely coal powered is super helpful for this exact reason because then you don't have to drag like as much coal stuff. You just need to drag the power lines. Oh, that's why I messed up with that. Oops. That sucks. Yeah, I messed up building this so that it was, it blocked up the system. Damn it. Would have had like way more uh, copper and stuff. Let's see, so I can I can make this electric now. And then from there, I can double up on this. Just not getting the All right, should be working properly now. All right, now we're getting some copper plates and I can start making this a lot nicer with power. And soon we'll be able to set up proper research uh, and get things automated, which will be super handy. Because that's kind of like the start of the mid-game. I guess. Uh, goal for this playthrough in particular, uh, not really, uh, to be honest. Like, I want to beat the game stuff obviously uh like i said i don't know if i'll come back to this like immediately next week or anything uh because i do want to maybe focus on games where i think i'll be a bit more confident uh talking through and stuff because i feel like i kind of overestimated how much i'll be able to talk about or talk during the stream uh so I don't know like how often I'll be playing this, but I do want to beat the game uh, on stream and stuff. Uh, and then possibly after that, we can potentially look at like some of the mod content because I know there's a lot of cool stuff there. Uh, I hope that answers your question. I, like I don't have a specific goal because there's, I was like, there's not 
a lot of variety of things you can do. It's kind of a negative for this game. Like, there's, uh, you know, you can, like, beat the game. You could just build a big factory. But, like, there's not really, like, much else to have as a goal besides that. Which is kind of a, a negative and something to consider if you're looking to get the game. Uh, I haven't played too much with the mods. I think there were some one, uh, there was a pretty, I can't remember this name. I know there's one that added, like, a bunch of ores and stuff, and I think it added, uh, some space stuff, like, going to, like, building a space station and, like, some more content, like, post the current end game. Uh, and so that was the one I was most interested in. Uh, and I'd started playing that with the friend and stuff, but we didn't, uh, end up making it far enough in that playthrough to uh, get to that point so I can't like uh, opine on uh, like how fun that part is and stuff but like uh, on just looking at it, it seemed really cool and definitely uh, that would be one I'd be interested in doing uh, if I did like a modded playthrough of the game in the future Alright, I'm now currently working on setting up so that we can get automated, uh, or semi-automated at least, uh, research. Because once I can kind of get most of the research done pretty easily, then uh, that's going to make the whole thing a lot easier. Because having to craft everything manually and stuff is a real pain. Alright, so it only uses 10 for automation, so I need to grab 10 copper plates, and then I can theoretically just craft that pretty easily. Because once I can get automation, then I can just start automatically making uh, conveyor belts. And so I won't have to like craft them in inventory. And that's going to speed things up incredibly quickly. It feels like that shouldn't be in the way, but I guess not.
I'll probably have to move this research lab down so I'm not like building on top of this iron here because this damn cliff's in the way. Sweet. Research finished. Uh, next thing to research is probably logistics because that's super helpful. It lets you build like tunnels and stuff and split things. Uh, but gonna move this down here first, I think. And also, I guess I'm gonna have to take copper all the way over here. So I should get started on building that now. Oh, it's those damn caves again. Or the cliffs. So I can fit the pole, I guess they're smaller, that's just fair, I guess. I don't know, I still hate that like even like a small amount of those cliffs just makes it impossible to build on. Oh, I'm already gonna run out of more cliffs, yay. And I'm almost out of conveyor belts for this. Yeah, this is where Satisfactory, I think, kind of uh, shows uh, that it's a bit better in this regard, where it's not, like, nearly as much of a plane. Because in, like, the 3D and stuff, you have a lot more freedom for building uh stuff so you don't have to really deal with a lot of the problems here of like oh there's a cliff because you can just go above it uh or like kind of cheese your way around it whereas here we just kind of have to go around the long way Just working on setting up the research automatically and stuff. Oh, goddamn caves. Fine, we'll go around. This should also, yeah, oh yeah, this is definitely enough conveyor belts for bringing this over at least. Every time. 
If I had enough conveyor belts, I should just go around like marking how where around the cliffs I can build. Unfortunately, I don't quite have enough to spare on that yet. That's the next thing I'm gonna work on building automatically. Alright, so research is automated now, which is awesome. So the next step is automatic conveyor belts, I think. Uh, so having the research set up is going to allow me uh, to research, me at the moment, just conveyor belts and stuff. And then it lets me to go to the next level of research, which lets uh, solar energy uh, terraforming and like improving the furnaces and stuff and also later on uh fluid handling so like i mentioned oil earlier uh so helping to deal with that as well as uh the car and the train and then much later in the game uh it gives access to like uh electric furnaces uh lasers which are super great, and then like the uranium and stuff that I mentioned, and then like at the end game there's the uranium and like drones and stuff that I can get to help automate things. So that's what the research is kind of working towards at the moment. Currently working towards underground conveyor belts, uh, conveyor paths, and then after that uh, probably gun turrets is the next step I think. And then, oh, uh, probably electronics so that I can get the faster inserters. And uh, later on, like, uh, better circuits and power and stuff. Yeah, the, the research is, like, the main progression stuff. And I think, like, as it's been mentioned in chat earlier, it's unfortunately pretty slow. Uh, you can speed it up, uh, later, uh, and I might be able to speed it up now, though I'm not producing a lot of stuff at the moment, so I don't think it would really do much, uh, might be worth a shot, though. Yeah, this is one of the games that you can sink a lot of hours in, but not always, because not all those hours are super productive. A lot of it's got to be, like, waiting for this to research and stuff, unfortunately. Which, it's... Sometimes it's not, like, feel the greatest. When you're like, oh, I spent, like, six hours playing, and then you realize, like, four of those were just waiting on, like, three things to finish researching. Uh, maybe, you know what, maybe I'm going to move the iron production here, I think, uh, so that, because I'm not going to finish researching this for a bit, and I think the, I want to get the automatic conveyor production up as soon as possible, and I need more space for that, so let's move that over here first.
Welcome back. Uh, Deja. Nice seeing you. Thanks for showing up to chat. Uh, no, not sure exactly when you left. We've made a bit of progress. Still not a ton. Like I said, the beginning of this game is fairly slow, unfortunately. Uh, but we have electricity now, and we can start working on automating things properly, which is great. I need to collect some more copper and iron plates, I think, so I can get this. Because uh, with the furnaces being powered by coal still, uh, and that doesn't change for a while, it's still pretty... It's You can't like get nice, clean furnace setups, unfortunately. So I'm going to need to use like the different types of inserters and stuff to kind of brute force fix it so that I can get it like in lines and stuff fortunately our plate production and everything is working fine so that we don't have to worry about like running out of plates or anything so far and we finished researching underground belts which is also very, very good. Kind of gonna have to like make this look a bit weird if we want it to go in the right spot because I need to be a bit farther apart than the rest so that I can make it work perfectly. Yeah, this is the kind of stuff where, like, where you have to make it, like, look like this, or that, where it kind of, uh, makes me, like, not frustrated, but, uh, I much prefer it if it, I was able to make it, like, clean, straight lines and stuff without too, too as much, like, uh, jank, I guess. Just having to just like work around it and stuff makes it a lot harder. I can still kind of make it work all right, which is good. Oh, I, st I still need more conveyor belts, I think. So when this is done, it will automatically... It will just start producing like a ton of... Uh, plates and stuff. Oh, I've built this too close. Oops. Now I have to push everything down. Yeah. 
that should be correct now. Oh, and we're finished the gun turret. So the research, like, where it's gonna be a not that bad, like not that slow now, which is nice. It does, like I said, it does get pretty slow in the future, but for now, it's it's like decently quick. Not always f as fast as we like it, but uh, not at the point where like, and it like just gonna take like an hour or something. Alright, so this is going to produce plenty of plates, provided I keep it fueled up with, uh, let's just swap these, or the long and short one around, actually, so that I can push this back a bit. Because then I can get more coming into here. And now that we've got like a good supply of iron plates and stuff, uh, we can we have the main manufacturing ingredient. So let's take some off to the side, and then uh, actually I should probably I'll do this closer to the top just to make sure that we're always going to be getting stuff going into like this manufacturing and automated stuff because I don't want it to be like putting too many into the chest and then not enough where I need it to be going. So that makes it into, and then for conveyor belt what else do we need is, it's just more iron plates. So back this way. Then into another chest. All right, and that's conveyor belt automation sorted. And so that's the big, one of the big milestones, I guess, of the early game is having that all set up properly. Uh, it does look like we might need more uh, iron. I think enough's going into the system so far. But we'll see. Probably we'll add a couple more machines, I think, just to be safe. Next, never hurts to be like producing too much than you need in this game. Well, I mean, it kind of does because of pollution, I guess, but uh, who cares about pollution, anyways? Uh, don't cancel me for that. What else we need automated after this is probably circuit boards, I think. That's the next big thing. Because those are super useful later. Uh, 
and so we're going to need to drag more copper. Oh, I'm gonna f I finally run out of stone and stuff that I need. You take that pollution approach, IRO, too. <laughs> yeah. I mean, short term gain. Just not long term success. But, I mean, if you're not gonna be around, then. Who knows? Does it really matter? Yeah. If pollution affects the next generation, does it really exist? Yeah, unfortunately the pollution of this game will affect me at some point once it reaches uh, up there or wherever mystery aliens are on other parts of the map. So I can't just completely ignore it. Sadly, but we can still try. God, that looks horrible, but I want to make sure I'm efficient. And I'm going to have to replicate that same thing, I think, over here. Yeah, I probably won't stream too, too much longer. Like, once I get the copper and stuff set up, uh, and maybe I'll set up the logistic... Uh, like automate the crafting of the logistic packs and stuff uh, and then we'll call it uh, yeah I think that's a good, uh, good plan But I feel like having the copper and like iron set up is a good milestone, like progression point. Uh, same with the uh, logistic science pack, and so that's a good like a f kind of natural time to take a break. This and the long ones.
Perfect, so that's the copper production. Automated. Might try to do the same thing I did over there. Um, so that it... Uh, and I'm gonna need more copper. Um, drills, right. But just so that it go is on both side. No, that's did that wrong. Go like this. go up all right that works yeah so the next thing I think is gonna be electronics because then that we can get us to the fast inserter and the filter inserter the fast one's very nice. I don't, I don't tend to use the filter one much, but uh, both are pretty useful. Alright, hopefully this should be enough copper, or close to enough, or we're producing without a major problem. Looks like it is. I think what I'll also do is branch that off so that I can put in, uh, I can just have that, any overflow being automatically filtered out. I think I'm going to want this to actually turn this way first. And go upwards, kind of like snake across. And this is going to be for the electronic circuits here and the cables. All 
I think I can stop doing the excess iron into there now, I think. Because... Yeah, looks like producing enough. Or we're not producing enough iron overall. Uh, but that I'll f fix after I've got this set up, I think. This goes off into here. And then we're basically going to want to replicate that again. Which we might just be able to do going like this. Uh, if I take this down, I think, first. Because I need to make two. I want to make two electric circuit uh, item. Like, it automation automated uh, like manufacturing things so that I can have one that's directly for science and one that's for that I can grab for like crafting so I need to kind of go like squeeze through there And for the inserter, so it's just iron plates, aren't gears. All right, that's not that bad. Electronics is finished, that's good. We'll do the inserters next, and hopefully by the time that's done, I'll have green research set up.
So that's the green research set up. Pretty much. Yeah, it is not super efficient because there's not enough uh, iron being produced. Uh, but it'll do for now. More cliff problems, of course. All right, so I think uh, I'm going to end it fairly soon. I want to expand the iron plate production before we go. Uh, and then I think I'm going to call it, so probably around the two-hour mark, roughly. Uh, so I need to get some stone first so we can make some furnaces. Maybe I'll uh, upgrade the stone production as well. Like, this is how you can, like, sink a bunch of hours in. It's just like, oh, yeah, there, I could also do this. And it doesn't take that long. And then, you know, so on and so forth. At least uh, that is how it is for me. Though the stone one is actually one that would take like a minute, I think. Because I really just need to drag uh, down some electricity. The nice thing is that the green research is going to build up slowly because it's not being used currently. I 
I guess uh, I'll have to reconfigure this. Yeah, definitely gonna work on getting some background music and stuff uh, for next stream. Well, I feel like uh, I do leave a lot of like dead air, so to speak. Do I just go straight down from? Here, yeah. Let's do that. Yeah, you two have a pretty good library. It is. I'm assuming, like, I'd found a, a couple things, uh, that seemed interesting and stuff, uh, I just hadn't, uh, taken the time to set it up, uh, in, like, OBS and stuff, so that's kind of on me there, uh, but I should have more time next week and stuff, and this weekend to uh, set it up, so, hope it won't be an issue then. Once I get more uh, iron ore production, uh, that should help with this uh, getting the this uh, plates over here on this part of the furnace setup. Uh, but that should overall help out with the science production and stuff. Yeah. The nice thing about like this game is there's a lot to do, at least in this part of the stage game now. Like there's like I could work on automating like all of the things and stuff. Uh it's just more I need to get better at like filling the space, uh and talking and that kind of stuff, so it's not just like the law of silence. But yeah, so I'll just uh wrap up by adding more iron to the system, and then I think I'll call it.
All right, I'm going to save now. And then I'll check who else is streaming that I can recommend. I know, uh, June, I think, uh, June is currently streaming, uh, recommend checking that out, I caught a bit of that, uh, earlier, uh, that's, that was great, and Abigail and Araminta are streaming at, uh, 8 p.m. and 7 p.m. respectively, so make sure to check them out as well. Uh, yep, I think I'm gonna call it here, thank you all for coming. Super appreciate it. means a lot. Uh, and hopefully I'll see you guys next stream.